Hey guys, if there's ever a time for joy, it's definitely now. I mean, there's so much going on in our world that can cause fear, confusion, trials, and yet I think about joy and how it's different from happiness. Happiness is based upon happenstance, and joy is based upon our unchanging relationship with Jesus. And if there's somebody that really understood what joy was all about, it's Paul. In fact, in the book of Philippians, Paul's locked up, he's in jail. He doesn't know if he's gonna get out, when he's gonna get out. And what brought him joy was his focus on two things. First of all, it was his focus on God. And second of all, it was his focus on people. In fact, he's encouraging the Philippian believers to live a life of joy. He says this in chapter four of Philippians, he says, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, present your requests to God and the peace of God that surpasses understanding will guard your hearts and minds. So here's a guy that's locked in prison and he's encouraging other people to maintain their joy in God by seeking Him and praying to Him. Not only that, he encourages the believers to be focused on others. And he says this in chapter 2, verse 3. He says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, like hog toilet paper, water, food. He goes on and says this. He says, but in humility, consider others better than yourselves. Look not into your own interests but also the interests of others. So in the midst of this season, I believe that we can pursue joy, hold on to joy by doing two simple, profound things. And that's focusing on our relationship with God and not only that, focusing on others. So today, be encouraged and maintain a life and an attitude of joy.